Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Kit Barton, and I'm here with Mike Edwards. Uh, we're both members of the LLVM Foundation Board of Directors, um, and we've been working on this uh, project, trying to get it off the ground to improve our LLVM education uh, material. So we've been working with Chris Bienemann and Andy Bergen, who both unfortunately couldn't be here today. So, so we're here to, uh, to talk a little bit about uh, what we're trying to get off the ground. And then we have a round table scheduled uh, following this, I think at 4.30, 4 .30. Yep. 4 .30, so we, are, uh, we can talk about this uh, more if you're interested. So um, <clears throat> basically the way this problem started is, um, you know, we've experienced, uh, each of us individually at our companies, we've experienced, you know, that it's, it's hard to find experienced candidates um, to hire who are knowledgeable about compilers. Um, learning about LLVM is challenging. It's a very large project with a lot of things going on. So, you know, we've been talking about this, I guess, off and on for a while, and, and we decided to get together and, and start, you know, writing down some of our ideas and formulating our thoughts and, and figuring out, you know, if there's ways that we can work on improving the material that is available to learn about both LLVM and about compilers in general. So. Um, the goals that we've, I think we finally established and agreed on is um, what we are trying to do here is, is establish a starting point for conversation. Um, one of the things that we found through our conversations is it's a very large area, a lot of things to discuss, and we would, uh, you know, quickly get um, deep into the weeds. So, so we are trying to establish a, a starting point for conversations, and uh, we're really trying to gauge community interest and how interested people are to get involved and to help us uh, tackle some of these issues. So, um, you know, there's a lot of things that we're considering out of scope right now. And again, the idea here is, is that we need to try to pick something that we can, we can focus on. Um, I've had, you know, lots of, uh, of feedback from various people saying, you know, things like our documentation is out of date or non-existent. Um, the tutorials, again, are, um, I would say, lacking for a out of, course, out of date. Uh, yeah. Need some refresh. Uh, so, you know, part of what we're trying to do here is, you know, kind of establish uh, what we've got and where we would like to go. So, um, we tried to break down the problem into different areas. One, things that we could do for free. So, basically, that with, with uh, ourselves and, and other volunteers, we could, we could try to improve. Um, second, things that we could try to improve with some amount of minimal investment, some support from, from the foundation and, and our sponsors. And then a third thing is, you know, things that we would really need to put some, some money into to try to, to support and improve. Yep. So we're going to start with the free stuff, which is improving existing resources. And um, so that's one of the things that we'll, we'll focus on now. Um, you know, we do have a lot of tutorials, a lot of documentation, a lot of material available right now. Um, I personally have found it very hard to get a good comprehensive view of what we have um, and how accurate it is. And so that's one of the things that we would first like to, to try to address and try to challenge is basically cataloging um, the material that we have, um, identifying what's up to date, what's out of date, and then use that as kind of a, a stepping stone to try to uh, find areas that we can that we can improve on. Then, once we have that, the next step will be going in and uh, trying to to find um, some money for things that we can try to improve on uh, further. So, again, um, ideas came up around uh, speaker series for universities. So we do have. Um, you know, from time to time, universities contacting us who are teaching compilers, um, compiler courses, and, and they'd like to, you know, see if there's people available that could go and talk about the work that we're doing in LLVM. And, and so trying to find some ways to, um, to, support, uh, to support speakers to go out to universities and talk. Um, similar, uh, uh, similar to that would be the lesson plans for compiler courses, you know, I think, uh, the dream for at least some of us would be that we would have an online compiler course that people could take that would focus LLVM as the platform that's used to teach. Um, it's a little bit of a long-term goal. It's not something we're going to be able to do in the short term, but 
But you know, those are those are the kind of ideas that we've been that we've been talking about. And then you know, should we uh, win the lottery? Um, you know, really, that, really long term <laughs> thinking. <laughs> uh, things that we could really you know spend some money on. Uh, localization of resources. We do have an incredible amount of, of videos that we've accumulated over the years. They are uh, largely in English, um, and if we were able to to you know add subtitles to those for um, and and or um, convert some of the videos or documentation to under other languages, that would be I think hugely beneficial. But those are the type of things that would require some amount of uh, investment long term, both to do initially and, and then also. Yeah, I would just add to that as well that um, I still need that, but um, <laughs> I, I would just add to that that so when we were looking at sort of what was the low hanging fruit we could go after to actually try and generate some interest in this and, and uh, move things forward a little bit, um, it's one of the reasons we focused on sort of like the video uh, library that we've got. Right, we've got all these LVM these wonderful talks that have been created over the years. You know, they're all on the YouTube channel. But how much of that is still relevant stuff, right? And and maybe there's some of it that's out of date. Maybe we could you know, reclassify some of it. And then also being able to have uh, domain experts that can maybe watch some of those videos and tell us, um, you know, like this set of videos might be very, very interesting and we could actually go and try and get somebody to uh, add closed captioning to yeah. those videos, right? So that we could start to localize them and start to add accessibility features to them and things. Um, trying, to, trying to find things, we're really trying to focus right now on what are things that we actually could try and do in 2023 to sort of move the move the ball down the field a little bit. No, you can okay. follow <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's see. No, no thanks. Uh, so anyway, yeah, the action items. So really the big things are, um, uh, you know, we're still looking for ideas, feedbacks, any suggestions that, that people have. We're trying to generate interest in this, right? Um, and, and understand we're definitely looking for volunteers. Um, if, I don't know if any of you were in the board buff, if you were in the board buff, you heard me talk about you know, what it actually takes to kind of keep the foundation and all of the initiatives running and, and all those things. Um, this project, the LVM project, it, it runs on the volunteers, right? It's everybody donating uh, their time and, and your employers giving you, you know, carving out time to be able to commit to the project um, and, and help drive things forward. All of these other initiatives, that also needs volunteer time. So anybody that's willing to volunteer to help with something like that, we'd love to talk to you. Um, yeah, there. I, some of you were taking pictures. That's great. There's a link there for the form. Uh, we, we put like a survey form out there. If you're interested, you can go there. The, obviously, the slides will be shared. Uh, and last but not least, uh, as Kit mentioned, we're going to do a roundtable about this at 4:30. Um, we actually had written a proposal up about this that does a way better job of explaining this yes. than Kit and I did. <laughs> um, uh, that is on Discourse. That's what that QR code will take you to. Is, is um, uh, that proposal if you want to take a look at that before you come to the round table um, just so you have a little bit more uh, background and context about what we're talking about. And that's it. We're done. Thank you very much.